One of the tutorials that gets requested the most is how to set up a website. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you step-by-step -step how I set up websites on Squarespace. So to get started, you want to go to Squarespace and find which template you want to create your website with. For this example, I'm going to be using Bedford. Now it will ask you a few questions at the beginning. This is just kind of general information for Squarespace. So now I am ready to start customizing my website. The first thing I wanna be sure and do is upload my logo. And while I'm here, I also want to be sure and add my favicon, which is the little symbol that displays in the browser tab. And then also the social sharing logo, which is what appears when you post your link on Facebook. Now that I've got these uploaded, I'm ready to keep customizing and know that sometimes when you are making changes, you might need to actually refresh your page to see the changes take place on Squarespace. Now I'm going to hop over to the style editor and set my fonts and colors. Now I want to make this site header not transparent on banner images. I prefer this so that it's really easy to read the navigation text. I don't have to worry about the colors clashing with the picture that it's on. So I've set the navigation title so we can actually see it, making sure that I like how all the settings are set up. I'm going to disable this navigation button, but this is purely a preference. I also want to be sure and change the other fonts that you can see on the page. I like this heading text, but I do want to change the other font that appears on the banner. I want to be sure and really only use about two fonts on my website. I also want to make sure that all of the colors are consistent. Consistency across your website with fonts and colors is really important. The other headings are correct for the font that I want to use. The other thing I'm going to do is come change the footer background color so that it's also branded. So now I've got some of these settings in place, so I want to hop over and start creating pages. You can see here the word demo next to these. That means it's filled with demo content that you can actually customize with your own text and pictures, or you can start from scratch. For this, I'm going to keep this home page. So I'm going to click create and then save. But I don't want the about page drop down, so I'm actually going to delete that. I do want to create the blog feed, but I don't want to call it news. So I'm going to rename it to blog and make sure that you also change the URL slug if you change the page name so that they match. And then I'm going to delete these other pages. Now I always advise my clients to actually put their home page not linked because it doesn't contain any information that you can't access elsewhere. It's more of a landing page. So I want to keep this navigation as uncluttered as I can. So now I'm going to add an about page and choose one of these templates to get started. You'll want to add more content to your pages than what they have here, but it's a good starting point. Then I'm also going to add a services page so that we can list our services on the website. This is a great layout because it allows you to add a thumbnail or icon with a brief description about how you can help your clients and then allow them to contact you if they want more information. And I want to reorder these. And then I also want to be sure and have a hire me page. There are some other pages that we want to create, but I don't want to list them in the main navigation. I want them in the secondary navigation. So I want to be sure and have a testimonials page. And then we'll also need a privacy policy page. So now we have the pages created. I'm not actually going to take the time to add all the text and pictures just so this video isn't too long, but I want to customize a few more things on these pages. The first of which is the home page. 
I want to go to the settings and the navigation title, we wanna keep simple on all of our pages. So again, the navigation menu is clean, but the page title, we can actually make more keyword friendly so that it helps our SEO ranking. So here is a great place to list your location and your specific services. So for me, I always say Atlanta graphic and web designer. But for you, that might be your city and then nutrition and health coach or anything along those lines, just the keywords that you want your site to rank for. Again, we can do this kind of optimization on the services page. So this would be a good place to put nutrition services or something along those lines, again, to help with your SEO ranking. So I wanna hop back over to the style editor because we can actually customize these buttons on our page. So I'm gonna use that teal color again and then just change the look a tiny bit. Now it's time to go into settings and work on a few things over here. So under basic information, we want to select the site type and then have a site description. So this is where you talk about the services you offer and who you help and where you're located. Then under connected accounts, I want to be sure and connect any and all of my social media accounts. You want to be sure and connect your social media account so that people can connect with you after they visit your website. This template had social icons already placed in the pre-footer content. So any more social media accounts that you connect to this template. So any more social media accounts that you connect to your website will automatically appear right here and anywhere else that you insert this social media block. I also want to hop over to marketing, make sure the share buttons are enabled, make sure I enable the pin it button for my blogs. And then we also want to go over to blogging. So right here, this is saying that all of my blog posts URLs will have this long blog page URL, the date, and then actually the title. I want to shorten that to only have the title. So I'm going to delete these other letters and symbols and just leave the percent sign with the T. Then we're gonna hop over to comment settings and make sure people can actually leave a comment on my blog post. I also wanna go over to SEO and enter my search engine description. Again, this is really important for using your keywords about your services and your location so that your site can hopefully rank for your keywords. The other thing that I wanna do down here in the footer, you can actually remove this powered by Squarespace text and it's better to insert your copyright information. Just put the copyright symbol, the year and your business name. You can see here also in the footer, we have our secondary navigation, which is where we put the testimonials page. So once you have all of your content in your website, you're ready to launch, hop back over to settings and click on domains. Then you'll select use a domain I own, type in your domain and then follow the prompts to connect your website with your domain so that people can actually find your website. The very last thing that you need to do is actually submit your site to Google so that Google knows your site actually exists. Google the phrase, submit my site to Google. You'll see this pop up, just type in your domain and submit it. This will tell Google to crawl your website so that it can start appearing in search results. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit like, subscribe, and share it with your friends.